summer and winter solstice. There are four seasons in the year. Spring, summer, autumn and winter. And throughout the year, the days and nights get longer and shorter as the seasons change. The longest day happens in the summer and the shortest day in the winter. The longest day is known as the summer solstice and the shortest day as the winter solstice. But what causes these solstices to happen? The Earth spins on its axis and each complete rotation takes 24 hours or one day. As it spins, the Earth also orbits around the Sun and each complete orbit takes one year. But the Earth does not spin on a vertical axis. It is tilted at an angle of 23.5 degrees. This means that different parts of the planet are pointing at or away from the Sun at different times of the year, meaning the amount of sunlight that reaches these regions will change. When the North Pole is tilted towards the Sun, it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere. The summer solstice happens when the angle of tilt towards the Sun is at its greatest, and so we have the most hours of daylight. In December, the winter solstice marks the exact moment the Northern Hemisphere is tilted the furthest away from the Sun. This is the shortest day of the year, and it means it has the fewest hours of daylight. The Southern Hemisphere points towards the Sun when the Northern Hemisphere points away from it. So the people living there experience their seasons and solstices at the opposite time of year. When it is winter in the UK, it is actually summer in Australia. The sun is vital to human existence, for light, food and warmth. So that helps to explain why celebrations of the solstices stretch back hundreds, probably thousands of years. In the UK, a famous place to celebrate is Stonehenge, which was built around 5,000 years ago. Back then, people living in Britain were pagan. And over the last 100 years or so, there has been a revival of ancient pagan traditions and worship, including celebrations held at Stonehenge led by Druids. The Druids believe Stonehenge has always been a place of worship. And it is likely that people gathered at the stone circle at both summer and winter solstices to carry out rituals and ceremonies relating to the changing seasons. Today, hundreds of people, including Druids, still travel to Stonehenge to celebrate the sunrise on the summer solstice and the sunset on the winter solstice, and to take part in the same kind of rituals and traditions that may have happened at the site for thousands of years. Around the summer solstice, People living in countries near the Arctic Circle, like Norway and Iceland, won't see the sun set at all. This is a natural phenomenon called the midnight sun. It is exactly what it sounds like. The sun is still up at midnight. During the night, when the sky is normally in complete darkness, the sun can clearly still be seen and the evenings remain bright, like here in Alaska. What's fun about Alaskan summers is that you can stay up late and play outside and it never gets dark, but it's also hard to sleep. Whilst people in the Northern Hemisphere are celebrating their summer solstice, those in the Southern Hemisphere will be experiencing the winter solstice. Many festivals and celebrations are also held in these parts of the world with their very own traditions. Not everyone celebrates the solstice with a big festival, but it's a good way to mark the passing of the seasons and enjoy the longest days and nights in our own way. <laughs>